What's up creators and welcome to 2024. In this video, I'm going to walk you through some of our latest changes that we just released for Web Studio, and we'll touch base on where we're at with the CMS and what you can expect in the coming weeks. Let's start off by diving straight into the builder. All right, so in the builder, there are four core changes that I want to show you. The first one is our new box shadow functionality. Before today, the only way that you could add a box shadow was by copying its code and then pasting it into the Web Studio Builder. Today, you now have the complete visual controls to customize and style your own box shadow. Let's take a look. If we select an element here, scroll down to the box shadow area in our style panel, add a new box shadow, you'll now see the option to visually style the X and Y axis, its blur, its spread, if it's an inset or outset shadow, as well as its color. And as per usual, the same code will still be generated in case you want to use it elsewhere. The second update has to do with our code fields. If we go ahead and select a HTML embed box here, you'll see our code fields are now fully styled and formatted in the way that you would expect when using a code editor, making it infinitely easier to quickly jump in and manage any code that you've added to your site, whether that's CSS, JavaScript, or static HTML. The last two updates are tied to our constant drive to always be the highest performing page and site builder. The first one is in relation to our Vimeo component. If you go ahead and select your Vimeo component and look into the settings, you'll now find the option to lazy load the entire video embed. What this means is that that embed won't load on the page and won't eat up any of that valuable load time when it's not present in the current viewport. So if you load a page that has videos on it that are below the fold, those videos won't use up any of our precious load times. Now, the final update is a little bit of a refactor or a change to how the platform handles CSS. And this is really when picturing and looking at large, large projects and how we can really take sites and scale them with your business without ever having to worry about performance issues tied to its style. You'll notice if you head over to your project settings, you'll see a new checkbox that says generate atomic CSS when publishing. Without getting too much into the technical details, we essentially looked at how does CSS grow and scale and how can we reduce and optimize that? We took inspiration from some massive platforms like Facebook and Instagram and implemented the same solutions that they use to create these infinitely scalable applications that load and perform fast, regardless of how many people are on the page or how big the page gets. We looked at our previous results for a large site which was measuring in at about 160, 150, 160 kilobytes. And after applying these atomic CSS changes, we reduced our CSS file size all the way down to just 16 kilobytes. That's a 90% reduction across everything that you do with Web Studio. And it only gets better the more you build and the bigger you create. Now, before ending the video, I wanted to touch base on the much anticipated CMS integration. It's a huge body of work that our engineers have been tirelessly working towards. We're getting close to shipping it. We've decided to split the release into two parts. The first part, which is dynamic data or bindings. That essentially is a system that allows you to connect any other platform to Web Studio and to pull in that data dynamically. This is just about ready to ship. You can expect to see it in the coming week or two. The second part of this update will be the direct integrations to existing CMS providers. This update is expected to ship in the following month, but rest assured for everyone who just wants to get their hands on being able to use collection lists, APIs, and other forms of dynamic data, you'll be able to in the coming weeks. And that is it for our update today. Thank you very much for checking in. Make sure to jump into the community if you have any questions, if you'd like to ping us, or if you'd like to just discuss all things Web Studio. Keep in mind, we also have a selection of lifetime deals available live on our website, which I'll link in the description down below. And in the meantime, I'll catch you in the next one.